Yo, what's going on guys, I'm Code Red, and welcome to How to Make a Rocket League Bot Using Red Utilities, Part 1. In this first part, we're going to be installing the Rocket League Bot GUI, which will allow us to play against other Rocket League Bots, and then we'll be installing Red Utilities, and be playing against RedBot for the first time, which is the Red Utilities example bot. So first, let's download the Rocket League Bot GUI. To do that, Let's go to our web browser, and in the Google search bar, we're going to be searching for RLBot, and we should go to rlbot.org. Then click Download Rocket League Bot for Windows, assuming you're on Windows, and then click Save File here, and then as soon as that's done installing, just run the Rocket League Bot GUI installer. Now, Windows will probably warn you about trying to run this installer. Just ignore this, the only reason why this shows up is because we're not registered as a publisher. As you can see, it says unknown publisher. Uh, in order to do that, we would have had to pay something to become a verified publisher, but we haven't, so. Anyway, then once the installer shows up, you want to click next until it starts installing. It shouldn't take very long. And then when it is done installing, then you're going to want to find the Rocket League Bot GUI on your computer. Uh, it should be on your desktop, but I'll just search for it here. And then when it opens, it will try to install Python for you. You're going to want to accept that because Python is necessary in order to run Rocket League Bot. So we'll just wait for that to finish installing. And then it's going to install a whole bunch of other stuff for us. This might take a little bit. Then when it's done, it should open the GUI or the graphical user interface. Now, this is different than the console window over here, but they are one in the same program. They're just different ways of viewing it. So the console window, you probably don't need to worry about 90% of the time. So we'll just minimize it. The GUI is how we're going to be interacting with the Rocket League Bot program pretty much the entire time. Uh, so here, we're going to want to install some new bots by clicking Add, and then we're going to add the bot pack, which includes 50 bots ready for you to play against. Then, when it's done, you should see all the bots available here, categorized like so. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to click All, and then we can see all the different bots that the bot pack has in store for you. And as you can see, some of them have some uh, exclamation point error signs. Uh, warning signs, I should say. As you can see, this is because of compatibility warning, which we can resolve just by clicking on the sign and then clicking install now. So then it should install the relevant package. As you can see, the exclamation point was still there, but after a restart, it shouldn't be there. It's just a visual bug. So uh, yeah, now we have all these bots to play with. So I'm going to be playing against Camille, the current 1v1 champion, and we're going to click start match. Then it should open Rocket League for you. If Rocket League's already open, close it, because you need Rocket League Bot to open Rocket League for you. Uh, once it opens, it should bring you to the menu, but pretty much immediately afterwards bring you to the actual match against Camille. Uh, or whatever, you know, whatever match you decide to load in. As you can see, Camille has speed flip kickoffs and is, well, very much better than an all-star bot. However, I'm a champion and a diamond one, three, one, two, three, somewhere around there in 1v1. And unfortunately, our bots have not gotten that good yet. So, as you can see, it's still not too much of a challenge. You can try playing against other bots too. For instance, Bottomus Prime is a close second for the top 1v1 champion currently. Um, and as you can see, Bottomus has a different sort of play style, but both are still pretty challenging and interesting to play against. Keep in mind that these are all custom-made bots by the community. For all you know, your, one of your bots could end up in the bot pack, and maybe even become the top 1v1 bot. Who knows? So anyway, now that we're done messing around in Rocket League Bot, let's get started creating our own bot. But first, we're gonna need to install .NET 5.0. Yo, Future Code Red here with a quick correction on my part in this part of the video. I say .NET 5.0 here, it is not specific to .NET 5.0. Uh, this is important to mention because Microsoft decided that it would be a great time just between me filming this part of the video and me publishing the video that, oh yeah, let's release a whole bunch of new stuff, including .NET 6.0. If I see it right here, you can see, if I look up .NET download, you can see that .NET 5.0 is not even an option anymore, which you'll see I 
download.net 5.0 in the tutorial. Same with Visual Studio 2019. It's now Visual Studio 2022. That's the only version you can download. Know that this doesn't really change the impact of the tutorial. Both should work fine. I just thought I would add this quick correction here as I really do not want to refilm all those parts of the video. And But I thought it was important to mention for people who are going to be asking, Oh, is .NET 6.0 fine? Is Visual Studio 2022 fine? Yes, they're both fine. You should be able to do my tutorial series with those regardless. So, yeah, back to the video. To download .NET 5.0, simply search .NET and click the top link. You should be presented with this web page, and you're going to want to click Download .NET 5.0 SDK. Then, when it's done downloading the installer, you're going to want to open it, and then run through the different settings. You may have to allow it to make changes to your computer. And then, when it's done installing, we're going to want to download Visual Studio 2019. To download that, simply Google Visual Studio 2019, and click Download Visual Studio Community Edition. Then, when it's done downloading the installer, double-click on it, and let it install Visual Studio, which may take quite a long time, and may involve some other steps that won't be shown here, since I already have Visual Studio 2019, including maybe choosing, I don't know, a theme, I know that was a thing, dark mode, light mode, you better pick dark mode, and some other things I, I may be forgetting, but uh, shouldn't be too much of a hassle. So, now that we've installed Visual Studio 2019, we're going to want to install Red Utilities. To do that, just click the link in the description. Actually, all of these will be linked in the description for you to easily access. Uh, and once you get to the Red Utilities page, it should look something like this. And what you're going to want to do is, well, you're going to have to have a GitHub account to do this. Um, if you do have a GitHub account, you're going to want to click Use This Template. It shall create a new repository for you for your own bot based off of Red Utilities. If you don't have GitHub and you don't really want to use it, you can just download the code by uh, clicking code and then download zip. Um, but I would recommend doing it this way. So you want to name your repository, choose whether it's private or public, and give it a description. And then you're going to want to click create repository from template. Once you've done that, you're going to want to go into Visual Studio and you're going to want to click clone a repository. And then you're going to want to link your new repository that was just created on your own GitHub. And it should clone your repository onto your own computer, which your repository currently is just Red Utilities. So it's basically downloading Red Utilities for you, but it also has a copy of it on GitHub that will automatically save. I mean, if you know what GitHub is, you should know how all of this works. So now that you've gotten all of the code onto your computer, you can check out the code just by, uh, you know, clicking on any of the files. We will be going through all of this in later tutorials, but we don't really have time to go through in this tutorial. We're just trying to set everything up. So now that we've installed Red Utilities, let's go against the Red Utilities example bot, aka Redbot. Now, in order to do this, we're going to need to build Redbot, as when you download Red Utilities from GitHub, it won't come with um, any of the build files, any of the executables, which we need in order for my bot to run. So now that your bot is fully ready, now we're going to go within the Rocket League bot GUI and play against our bot. But as you can see, it's not here. And that's obviously because our bot is not a part of the bot pack. So in order to add it to the Rocket League bot GUI, we need to click add, add folder. And then we're going to find the folder where Redbot is stored which, uh, if you don't know where that is, you can just simply go into Visual Studio, right-click, and click Find in Explorer, and, you know, copy the path, and then paste it here, and then click Select Folder. So now, it's gotten the Red Utilities folder, and it automatically has put Redbot into the GUI, and now we're going to click Launch Rocket League and Start Match. So now, we can play against Redbot, the Red Utilities example bot. Which, I know I keep saying that, and maybe you don't know what that means. This is basically just what you get when you download Red Utilities. You get Redbot, which is still a fully functioning bot. It just... Well, its strategy kind of sucks. As you can see, it is not letting go of the ball. And it will never let go of the ball. As you can see, it's pretty easy to counter because... Since you know it will never go for boost, and always go for the ball... 
you can just kind of wait for it to mess up and then score. This is because its strategy, which we can look into in future tutorials, is basically just if ball exists and I can hit it within the next six seconds, go for it. Uh, and I can explain more about this later, but this is not obviously a very good strategy. However, um, as you can see, the bot is still pretty decent because it has a lot of mechanics available for it to use, which is, you know, the whole point of my utilities. My utilities gives you the ability to basically just come up with the strategy for your own bot, but the bot itself will have all the mechanics built in. So you can just choose what to do at which point in time. As you can see, Redbot actually scored a pretty good goal against me. So uh, yeah, now we've got this all set up. In the next tutorial, I'll be introducing you to the process of bot creation and explaining how all of it works. But um, anyway, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Click like and subscribe and all that, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>